Welcome back, Fast Foodies. I'm Parker, and you are watching part three to the American Dream Back to School Nut Butter Review Series. If you missed out on part one or part two, oh boy, I highly recommend you check those reviews out. I had my great friend Luke on <laughs> for both of those, and uh, we had a great time. We actually did a blind taste test in one of those reviews. And so, <laughs> here we go, shut your mouth. <laughs> I'll make sure to leave a link to both of them in the description box below. And I'll also leave a link to the American Dream online shop down there where you can pick up any American Dream nut butters. Today though, for part three, I'm gonna be reviewing Starberry Blast Almond Butter. And this is actually not a three part series. No, this is a four part series, which means because this is only part three, that there is one more nut butter I've yet to review, and that one has caramel in it. And if you know anything about me and caramel, it's that I love my caramel. So definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. But this Starberry Blast one does not have caramel in it. It's actually based off of the Strawberry Milkshake Pop-Tart. That's right, American Dream is trying to replicate that classic Strawberry Milkshake Pop-Tart flavor inside of this almond butter. And not only that, it's also topped with crushed sandwich cookies, which I believe are Oreos. And I do believe there are some sprinkles in here. That's right, sprinkles. Oh boy, I am ready for some color, for some pop. I better grab my tasting spoon. Let's open this up. Hmm, now it did say it was supposed to be topped with those golden sandwich cookies or Oreos. Oh, they're, they must have sunk to the bottom. There they are. Oh, look at those sprinkles. <laughs> this certainly is a colorful um, butter. Mm, and I can smell <laughs> that strawberry smell. It is coming through, oh boy. Now it will be interesting to see if those sprinkles are just there for decoration or if they add some flavor and texture as well. On um, the spoon, look. Interesting, interesting. So I'm gonna start off with the almond butter base. The almond butter, it's high quality. Personally, I love American Dream's cashew butter the most out of their cashew, peanut, and almond butter. But almond butter, you can't go wrong with this almond butter. It is a creamy almond butter base. But, but, this is where those mix-ins come in. And this is actually the part I was a little bit surprised about, or the reason why I said interesting. And that's because I was expecting for the crushed sandwich cookies to have the biggest impact on the texture of this Starberry Blast almond butter. I'm finding, however, that I'm actually getting more crunch from those sprinkles than the crushed sandwich cookies. Now, I don't know if it's just my jar of almond butter and that American Dream didn't put as many sandwich cookies in my jar as they would in anyone else's, but I'm not finding too many of those sandwich cookies in here, but I am getting a good amount of sprinkles. Flavor-wise, mm, that strawberry flavor is as strong as that strawberry smell. And as you guys heard, I was getting that smell during that American Dream cam footage. Mm. Um, butter. Mm. And I can smell <laughs> that strawberry smell. It is coming through, oh boy. It was strong. And that flavor, that strawberry flavor, it is just as strong, if not stronger. Milkshake wise, mm. not getting too strong of milkshake vibes, milkshake flavors. There definitely is a bit of creaminess, if they're really trying to go for that strawberry milkshake flavor, I would have enjoyed for a bit more of it. However, at the end of the day, it's still a solid summertime back to school snack. Definitely recommend it. For ratings, I'm gonna give it, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Not my favorite out of the four jars. Well, I've only had three of them. <laughs> we'll find out about the fourth. But out of the three I've had, this is probably my least favorite, but it's still a solid choice. If you guys like your strawberries, if you're like my sister who loves her strawberries, then yeah, I could probably see her giving this probably like an eight and a half. 
out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see ya in part four. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you wanna become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.